Although at five, a string of prostitution busts raising questions about sex trafficking in the Queen City. Tonight, we've learned several people have been arrested for soliciting prostitution in the past few weeks. It comes after new efforts this year to combat the problem of sex trafficking. NBC Charlotte's Alex Shabbat is learning new information about the cases. He joins us live outside the Mecklenburg County Jail. So, Alex, there's clearly still a lot of work to do here. That's right, Sarah. These are just some of the new cases. Three men taken into custody right here at the jail. But tonight we're looking at the bigger picture. On a sunny day along Sugar Creek Road, we are shedding light on crimes happening here at night. These three men charged for soliciting prostitution, but there are other faces we don't often see. That's where I think the real crime is, is occurring, is how those individuals are being exploited. Jane Harmon is with Pat's Place, which helps victims of sex trafficking. She says it's important for law enforcement to target the source of the problem. Those who are purchasing, um, those who are creating the demand for it, as opposed to those who may truly be victims themselves. Survivors like Lainey George. She told NBC Charlotte she was a child sex slave, exploited for the first time at just three Three years old. I had no idea that it wasn't okay for it to happen to a little girl. This year, new public and private initiatives meant to combat sex trafficking, from cats teaming up with a local nonprofit to FedEx training drivers how to spot victims. Well, they may have been coerced into it, they may have been forced into it. You know, there are so many dynamics that are involved. The hope to get them on a different path. George runs a home for sex trafficking survivors. The journey's hard, but it's possible. We also asked CMPD for the number of prostitution arrests this year, but we were told that information was not immediately available. Live in Uptown, Alex Shabad, NBC Charlotte. Alex, thank you.